Hello, my name is Julian Jenkins and welcome to the meditation to change your perspective on pain. Pain can overwhelm us not only physically but mentally. And when pain gets out of hand it can become part of your identity or even consume our entire sense of self. Having entire days revolving around pain. Your very life becomes dedicated to pain. Yet pain is something everyone wants to get rid of. So why does this happen and how can you get your life back when pain has become so unbearable? In order to fully understand the true meaning behind pain, we must change our perspective and it opens up new approaches and opportunities. You came here in an effort to get through your days because this burden of pain has consumed you. But today you're going to learn a new way of thinking that could very much turn this around. So let's begin just by closing our eyes and we're going to be taking three deep breaths, paying attention to your belly and your lungs, expanding when you do so. So let's do the first one. Take number one in, fully in, and exhale, letting your body relax. Two, breathing deeply, and anything that worries you or thoughts, anything that's outside of this, just allow it to fade away, breathing out. Three, filling your body with as much oxygen as you can, and then let the air escape from your body relaxing you even further and just allow your mind just to slowly drift off just allow yourself to be calm and relaxed and allow your mind to drift and wander to the thought of a very small ornate hand-built fountain this is the fountain of relaxation. And it's built in a way that the water level is waist high and easy for you to access. Maybe there's a sculpture that the water comes out from, splashing down into the basin, or perhaps the water just shoots up and out of the, out of the water fountain in a beautiful way. However you see this fountain, picture it vividly in as much detail as you can. You notice the water is crystal clear, but it also seems to glow with a golden light. Touch your hand to the side of the fountain and feel the way it's built and how sturdy it is. Now, just dip your fingers into this golden water and as you do so you feel a profound relaxation as it just rushes through your fingers into your body and then you dip your entire hand into this healing water and the pleasure that this water brings you is so wonderful that you must have more and more so gather it in your right hand and splash it onto your left forearm Gather some more and cover your upper arm and your shoulder with this water. The moisture of your skin is glistening in the sunlight, similar to how diamonds reflect light. And then, if you like, do the same with your left hand, cupping the water and soaking your right arm with it on your right shoulder. And this water is not only absolutely beautiful in its appearance, but it's hugely soothing. And I want you now to cup both hands together and gather some of this beautiful water in your hands. Gather in as much as you can, watching it slip through your fingers, spilling over the edges of your hands, and this time, just bring the water to your mouth for a drink. The water 
touches your lips. And it is just sublime. This water is heavenly. It nourishes you. It relaxes you. Take another handful. Drink some more. And then I want you just to gather one more handful. Just to splash on your face. The water seems to wash away all your worries. Everything you've ever ca carried for, cared for, it just drifts away. And just notice how you feel. It's nice, isn't it? So just relax somewhere near this fountain, feeling completely free, clear and open-minded. And listen to this beautiful information that changes your view about pain forever. Pain acts as an alert. It's similar to an alarm. What an alarm goes off, you understand what it's asking you to do, and you turn it off. Imagine an alarm that wakes you up from sleeping. Once you're awake, you turn off the alerting sound and the alarm has done its duty. And pain alerts you to say something needs attention. If you have a traumatic injury, the pain tells you where the wound needs to be mended. But what's happening with chronic pain that continues for years and consumes your mind is that the source of pain is not being mended and the alarm is constantly sounding out. Our minds are very intelligent as well as our bodies. When there's something important in our mind, we don't acknowledge, push away. And do not tend to. The only option our mind executes is to alert the body through pain. So instead of thinking that there's something wrong in your body, ask instead what needs to be addressed in the mind. Perhaps you're working a job that brings you down and you don't like to admit it. Maybe you're unhappy with a relationship that you continue to stay in. Or you could even be in a very happy relationship, but you've allowed too many burdens and responsibilities on yourself in an attempt to please everyone but yourself. Unresolved upsets in your life manifest as body pains until you do something about them. They are alerts that you've gone beyond your uh, boundaries and you're not speaking the truth. So instead of asking what's wrong with your body when you experience pain, ask what your mind is screaming your attention for. But you continue to disregard and push it away. From now on, your entire thinking about pain has changed. When pain presents itself, go directly to your mind and ask, what emotion am I suppressing? What thoughts am I pushing away? This is being true with yourself, as you always should. Truth and chronic pain cannot coexist. Once you know the true source of your pain, by evaluating your life experience in an honest way, pain will disappear without question. It will only rise again as a helpful alert that truth and honesty must be expressed to yourself and those who are important in your life. Whenever you come to a physical activity that you fear, it will cause pain instead of avoiding it, go into it and pass your fear. And sit however you like, for however you long. Even go on that long drive in that car that once brought you pain. Lift things you shouldn't, going right into the past and the fear. 
it's extremely important that you fully trust that your body is stronger than you've been made to believe. And today, you've made amazing advancements. When you feel pain, breathe into it. But ask the question, what is the true cause of pain? Is it trauma? Is it an injury? Is it your mind? Is there something that is causing your body to be at this ease, which creates disease and pain? Sit in the moment and allow yourself to breathe through any issues or traumas, but also sit with yourself and ask your body, what causes my body to act this way? What causes me to have pain in whatever area of my body it is? Is it headaches? Is it tummy? Is it nerves? Just see the responses you get and make and adapt the changes. But when pain arises, breathe into it. Find the true root cause. And pain will change, as will your perspective of pain change. I'm just going to leave you here now, just to breathe in and breathe out, focusing on the areas where you have pain, and covering the true trauma of that pain, and allowing yourself to breathe through it and release it. And whenever you're ready, in five minutes, ten minutes, or a minute, whatever you choose, you can slowly just open your eyes and know that you can return to the present moment, ready to tackle the fear of pain head on. I'll leave you now. Enjoy however you long you like.